Auburn freshman Daniel Mazzaferro from Cheshire, Connecticut. A back two and a half, one and a half twist pike position, 3.4 degree of difficulty. He has a very respectable list of dies. All of his dies at 3.0 or higher degree of difficulty. Wow, he has some really nice entries. You kind of hear that pop. That's indicative of what we call the rip entry as Coach Jeff Schaefer looks on. And this requires a very aggressive jump from the platform and then a lot of spinning and twisting and he needs to keep his legs tighter straighter before he goes in the water and that would receive very high scores they're respectable but it's not going to move him into the top five now we move to another Auburn freshman Kelly Marks who does a back one and a half a two and a half twist off the lower platform Jeff Schaefer says he's taking Kelly very slowly very cautiously and learning all these platform dives not quite ready to go up on the 10 meter with a twister yet but he has very pretty lines a great stretch in his legs and that should keep him somewhere in the top six we just don't know until all these other divers go Mickey Vendetti another freshman from ASU oh I really like that dive that was an incredible back two and a half with one and a half twists. And that's going to net a whole bunch of points. He was in third place going into the last round. And look at this jump. So tight. Legs stretched. Toes pointed. Goes in the water vertically. Wow, what a dive. Oh, my goodness. This is the highest scoring dive of the competition thus far. Great scores now to another freshman, Ruben Ross from Miami. Back two and a half, one and a half twist, pike position. Oh, these guys are diving very well in the final round. This is another terrific back two and a half with one and a half. We're seeing a lot of this dive in the last round, and some guys are even doing this with another twist and adding more degree of difficulty, and that's in the international scene. But look at that entry, so clean, so pretty. Not quite the same as Mickey Benedetti's. Should keep him in the top five. We'll find out as soon as the last two divers go. Texas A&M's Eric Sane. Eric Sane needed eight and a halves to go ahead of Mickey Benedetti from ASU. I think he might receive six, six and a halves, but I don't know about the eight and a halves. The entry was sliding past vertical just slightly, and that's where we're gonna see what I would call the rooster tail splash come up. I'll show you right here. There he goes past vertical, and there you see that splash come up. So not quite good enough to be ahead of Mickey Benedetti. Comes down to the final dive. Steven Singerlin of Auburn. He needs sixes to win this contest. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. His knees were a little bit bent. Jeff Schaefer's going to hope and pray that he can receive the sixes or six and a halves on this. You see the knees and the feet crossed in that twisting position, but he does.